Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Harald Drak and we are playing uh, Avon Colony, a sci-fi colony building game simulation developed by Mothership Games. I gotta thank them uh, for providing me with a press code so that I can uh, test the game out, show it to you guys. If you want to buy it for yourself, if you want to check it out, um, there's going to be a link in the description. It costs 30 bucks on Steam. And uh, I've been following the development uh, of this game for a good long while, I think half a year, or maybe even even a year. And it has recently been um, fully released. It's been a while in sort of beta testing. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a very nice game, very good looking. Um, exactly what I need for a nice chill um, afternoon of colony building. So the story is that we are going to try to settle a Avon Prime, the planet. We're going to go out, um, try to settle different biomes. Uh, I don't want to, there's actually music in the game and sound and all that, but I have turned down the, the sound in the game menu itself um, because for some reason it doesn't really take the global sound settings. So the whole mixing process um, didn't really work. I'm going to turn it on in a minute. Um, we're also going to get a mission briefing and what, I'm, what I want to try to do is just um, play through the campaign. It has actually a really nice long campaign. Depending on the response to the series, I am going to play more or less of it. So. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to turn on the sound and then we're going to listen to the mission briefing for the first mission, Vana. As always, we're going to play on insane difficulty because that's just how we roll. So, new game. Welcome to the Avon Expedition. As the governor of humanity's first colony outside the solar system, it's no exaggeration to say that the future of human civilization is in your hands. We've been in orbit for 300 hours since reaching Avon Prime, so no doubt you've had plenty of time to review the mission briefing. You'll be touching down on Vanar, which is the closest thing Avon Prime has to planet Earth. There's a great deal of plant life here, but don't be fooled. The atmosphere is primarily carbon dioxide, so we'll need to keep the colony hermetically sealed. We have a small settlement here, and you will assume command upon touchdown. There are no signs of intelligent life so far, but do keep an eye out. Your mission coordinator will be Vori Markov. She and I will be monitoring your progress closely from the colony ship. Good luck, Governor. All right, so that is the thing. We're gonna we're gonna go for insane difficulty. There is a sandbox mode. Um, there's also these tutorial missions that I've played through. Um, sandbox mode. You can change all manner of things. You can have environmental events, um, frequent, extreme. You can have high or low starting resources, mission objectives on or off. Um, you can actually turn morale off, so you won't have to worry about happiness. I guess uh, minerals can be high. Um, you can turn on if you, if you actually want um, elections and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty nice. The one thing that I'm missing is map size, I think. But I'm not sure if that really applies here. But yeah, you can basically play all the things that you have in the missions or in the campaign over here as well. Um, right, so we're going to start with Vanar. Welcome we're going to start it on... Expedition. As the gov on insane which is going to give us lower resources um make stuff more difficult in all the right ways <laughs> could could actually happen that i have to restart this um uh, but then we'll at least um have learned something so let's just stop right away let's pause for a minute so this is our colony over here we got um this thing over here this is our prometheus lander our the module that we with what we touch down uh, down here and then we have some solar modules so that we have power to help our buildings this is our our resource so these are nanites um which can then be used by drones to build all manner of buildings you get these by mining iron copper or other minerals then processing them into nanites which is pretty cool we got a happiness meter down here we got the air quality we got the storage, we got uh, water, which we have to provide, and we got food down here. And this is the the day, um, so the days take much longer on Avon Prime. And uh, this part that is a little bit grayed out is where the winter starts. And certain things like the solar collectors, for example, will produce less in winter. Um, so we've got to prepare for that. Um, one Once the bar is full, one day is over. Um, and every day basically has four seasons, which is kind of interesting. We don't have any elections as of yet. That's going to come later. Um, we can go through our colony um, with, with the surveillance mode and actually have a look at our people. We can click on each of them. Uh, they're all simulated. 
Um, you can see where they live, what they are doing for a job. So this person is actually working in the construction drone hub, steering those or commanding those construction drones over here. Construction drone hub, and there's another uh, big solar panel. Oh, okay, so there's an interesting difference. There's some solar modules and there are solar panels. Okay, then. These guys must actually supply more. Yeah, these, these guys supply way more stuff. Yeah, and the construction thing is... Um, you're building robots. You can have, we have to provide housing uh, with the resident stuff. We have to produce resources, have immigration uh, or emigration, um, electricity, we can build various stuff for drones. We can, for example, build police drones as well. We have to defend ourselves against um, environmental hazards. Uh, we have to farm food. We have to mine stuff. We have to um, extract water, um, air. Um, apparently the atmosphere of that planet isn't quite as great for humans so we have to connect everything with tunnels um, like you see over here um, we can do research we can uh, entertain our people in various ways and then there are certain mega structures and to build the earth history center um, is the goal for this mission so that's what we're going to do um, right let's see what kind of mission the game is giving us Welcome. your colonists have been informed of your arrival and are eager to see what their leader can do for them. Okay, so it's a small colony, one of the friendlier parts of Avon Prime. Water and plant life are plentiful here, and most crops grow well. First, we need a supply of water. Open the water submenu. Um, la -di -da, -di da Yeah, okay, so that's fine. We're just going to buy, a, build a water supply. I've been building the... Oh, yeah, we can also try to pull water out of the atmosphere directly, um, which you can use anywhere this i think yeah it actually depends a lot on the tile i think this is pretty good they have different um yields you can see that we're gonna pull less water over here for example or over here only 10 whereas this is gonna pull 16. um i think this is gonna be good for water so we're gonna put that down over here and then we're going to connect it with some tunnels, um, both for uh, so that electricity can reach the thing and so that people can get there. People don't like to go through buildings to other stuff. They want to go through tunnels and they want to have a short, um, a short way. So we're gonna we're just gonna turn it on. Um, I think what I should also do is put some food stuff down. We have uh, bad food variety. If we have a look into our storage. You can see that we only have ration packs and a little bit of rice. So they don't really like that. We have amaranthium. Just a second. I want to have a look at what the amaranthium actually does. What are you? Um, enhancer. Nutrient-rich enhancer drink increases health slightly and also increases happiness by up to 1%. Requires a dispensary. Uh, we can manufacture that um, in the plants. Wait, where is that? I think... Yeah, processing structure over here. No, that's a nanite. Mining, farming. No. Technology structures, maybe. I saw that thing. Hospital. Retail center. I think it's these. Quality healthcare. Can cure plague. Multi-purpose food and entertainment building. We could put something like that down. People aren't super happy at the moment. But I guess we're just going to go with the tutorial-ish missions for now. Resource. Yeah, that's... Over here it is. Uh, chemical plant. Right. So our drone is building that thing. And interestingly enough, the, the water pump is only pulling water if we're running out of it. Now oh, we can also destroy stuff by shift clicking that's good to know okay so the water pump is um pumping to 16 water per colonist low threshold high threshold okay that's nice i should have gotten some nanites for that okay new mission benefit from a higher level of food output okay we're gonna build a farm somewhere at the edge of my colony i will receive pot ash And two nanites. Okay. Let me just stop that. Uh, so we want to go for farms. Um, actually, I'm kind of... The greenhouse can still produce food in winter. Now, we got to make a decision. These require nine nanites to build. Five workers. This require 22 nanites to build. And six workers. And slightly more power. Um, but I kind of like the independence. 
And you can see that the, the, the plant and soil stuff is inside here. Barley, 60% productivity, depending on the um, highlighting of the tiles. Stuff will be growing better or worse over there. Yeah, yeah, not connected to the colony. Stop howling about that. This actually looks like a good area for corn production. I and mean, we could also just go for the normal farm. Crops, grows crops for food. We might just be able to store the food. Uh, maybe save the nanites for something else then. Um, this looks actually good. Yeah, this looks like a like a good time. 70% productivity. I wish it would show me this stuff over there as well. I'm going to put it down over there. And... No, wait. Um, we're going to connect it to our tunnel network. As um, I wonder why the tunnel network is not extending over there. Mm. Mm, actually, we might we might pull it we might pull it off over here. Something like this, maybe. I think that's fine. And it's gonna it's gonna start to produce some or it's gonna create some fields around it. I wonder if it can destroy the alien vegetation around it. I wonder if that's gonna be a thing. Do we only have one drone at the moment? It's tier one of tier three. Yeah, you can you can upgrade these buildings to um, make them higher tiers, which is going to give us more drones. I don't think we need more drones. I don't think we need more than one. Let's just go up to speed eight. Actually, have the thing built. Yeah, and as you can see, we've got some got some fields around it now, so that's nice. Um. What about our rewards? I wanted to remind you that the mission objectives from my team are here only to guide you. While several of these objectives are necessary in order to complete your mission, complete your mission, your first priority should be the safety of your colony. As an experienced colony governor, we trust your judgment, and I urge you to take your time and put your colonists ahead of your mission. Good luck. All right. Thank you. That's nice. So I can basically do what I want. <laughs> um, let's go for the... Let's go for this. Yeah, we already have a solar panel. Let's try building a wind turbine. We're going to gain two nanites and five canoa. That's not a lot. Um, the re mission rewards definitely reduce on insane difficulty. So, I mean, I think that's good. Um can also go for farm tier 2 grows more crops i think what we need is a little bit more food variety but i really don't like to go for really big building programs until i have actually started to do a little bit of nanite processing we've got a copper deposit over here with 800 copper that'll allow us to create more nanites but let's just be a little bit careful so wind turbine we're going to need it anyways if we want to um, turn that stuff into um, nanite all right, provides a small flow of electricity from wind power. Can also operate in fan mode, where it will push away toxic gases while consuming electricity. That's actually quite nice. Yeah, we have a lot of environmental hazards that we have to deal with uh, one way or another. Now, where to put this um, best? I think this looks good because that'll actually allow us to create sort of a tunnel system down there. Although maybe we leave that kind of farm area. Maybe do something like this. I think that looks good. Um, so let's go ahead. Just a, a bit of a difficulty because um, building tunnels is on space. Uh, whereas I normally have the pause key on all the other games that I play. But um, yeah, I like the console that they that they provide here with the um, speed stuff is on the number on the number keys. So I, I could change it, but it's fine. It's actually looking really beautiful. It's a re very nice game. Very good looking game. Okay, so we've got our solar panel now. Where are my nanites at? Okay. Right. I guess we gotta I guess we gotta go ahead and actually work that work that copper. So resource. Um we're gonna have to build a depot at some point, but it's ours is only half filled. Um if you actually start on the normal difficulty, it's almost fully filled. So that's a difference. Um, where's the mining? Over here. So let's go for mine. There are two types of mines. We can either build a mine, which just extracts the stuff, or we can build a laser mine, 
which extracts uh, stuff much faster, but also destroys 40% of the stuff. Um, which I don't think we want. That requires 10 power. So that's exactly what we can what we can go for. Why do we have that over here? I really would like to have that storage module somewhere else to actually build a tunnel. Repair. Hmm. Can I remove that one? There's no imploding option. Cannot be recycled until your economy has at least 2,500 total storage capacity available. It's a bit annoying, but I guess we can live with it. Um, let me just um, do do something like that. Okay. Uh, we've got a new mission. Another mining facility would be a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Build a mine on copper. Thanks for telling me that. I would never have done that without you. All right, so we're going to get the copper. And I think then we just got to go for a nanite um, processing facility. Okay, that thing is done. It does not have enough power. Why are we at 49 or 48? Now we're at 50 or 48. God damn it. Okay, then. Got to provide more power. Um... Solar panels could generate 50% less during winter, which makes them kind of nasty. I think we might actually go for a geothermal generator. These guys are pretty big. Must build on geothermal wane. There's one over here. Not connected to colony, but I think that will actually work way better because it's not dependent on the season. Um, so let's make that happen. And let's connect it this way. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's good. Let's build the geothermal vent, and then I won't have to build um, energy stations all day and all night. There are a couple of really nice map overlay modes. Uh, for example, the employment overview shows us exactly where people are employed in our colony. So we see that a lot of people are working over here, some are working over there, some are working over here. Um, doesn't look... Um, just get out of the overlay. Do we have people working here? No, it's just generating power on its own. I mean, that's also nice. Automated structure, no workers. Automated, automated. I wonder if that thing is going to be automated. Let's just have a look. No, that needs 10 workers. Right, maybe that's the reason why we don't build that normally. That could be a bit of a problem. Um, can, I, can I recycle that one? Recycling will recover 12 nanites, so only half. Yeah, that's what I get for playing on insane. Well, well, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Maybe it pays off. We're going to have to send a couple of people to work in there. Might have been better to just build a second wind turbine. Well, I know that for next time. We're down to 28 nanites now. We need more people. How do I get more people? Reward available. Um, yeah, definitely. We're going to take the nanites. Because I'm running out of these pretty fast. Okay. So we have four people working in here. That's fine. You can actually tell them to give them different priorities. But I think we're having way more power now than we actually need. Which is alright. Now let's go for the processing so that we can be self-sufficient. Create our own nanites. Laser mine, nanite processor. And... Yeah, I guess that this might be best. Just... Just put it right next to it. And do something like this. And maybe... We can actually do something like this then. So that people can get around easily. Uh, new mission. Build an outpost. Let's start small, build an outpost. We need more living space. Okay. Um, let's go ahead. Let's do that. 18 nanites to build. Requires 8 power. Support 16 colonists. Okay, then. Mm -hmm. Might be a good idea to just place it here so people can easily get to the farm and our nanite uh, production over there. Maybe just right there. Looks good. We're gonna do it. And probably, could probably use more of these construction drones. Actually, really slow. Hmm. Definitely beautiful background over here with these rocks and stuff. 
Oh yeah, there are even more fantastic rock formations. Very beautiful, and there's a gas giant in the back. Yeah, I like it. Um, looks like it's um, getting towards winter now. So winter approaches, impaired power generation and food cultivation. That was quick. I mean, I think we got enough um, food to actually go over the winter. We still have a little bit of production time left. It's fall season. I wish it would show me the time um, until winter approaches. That would be kind of good. How are you looking? Synthesizing one nanite. Very good. So we're going to processing all the things. We got Calco Sludge. Eight times slower than standard nanite creation. Mm hmm. And also the use of copper as a metallic element in nanite synthesis and iron. Okay. Calco Sludge. I wonder where we get that from. Oh! <laughs> My display is actually freezing. I like that effect. That's fun. What am I though? What am I though? Am I just a screen? <laughs> we have a new mission. Storage capacity. Build a mini storage depot. Well, I wouldn't say that that is normally the case. Oh, we're gonna get some candy. Well, I gotta do it then. <laughs> if I get candy, I definitely have to do it. So let's go for a mini storage depot. Mm, don't really want to put it over here because that's gonna block the expansion of the road in that direction. Maybe we'll put it down here because that's that looks like a, a place where we might have to store some some stuff. Let's make that happen. How's the happiness of people? Okay, 40% jobs filled, 100% employment, 66% morale. Um, commute is not a problem at the moment. They dislike walking through non-tunnel buildings though. And they want short commutes. They're happy that uh, we have some freedom, they have a purpose. That's good. Um, okay. They are sort of happy. 50% of the housing is filled. Um, do we get new people? Where's my Where's my population meter? Where is my population meter is what I want to know. Um, maybe, maybe it's just in here. Morale. No. Yeah, we've got 16 colonists over here. So I would have actually expected to see that somewhere down here. Maybe not. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I guess, yeah, that's it. That's the population meter. All right, then. Good. Winter also looks nice. Gotta say. That alien flora looks beautiful. I wonder if you can eat that kind of stuff. Oh, and we're having thunderstorms. There are buildings that can help you to um, keep those thunderstorms away. Oh, yeah. Actually, over here. The lightning tower. 15 nanites requires one energy battery. There's a plasma turret. I wonder if it can get hit by these um, right away. Maybe. Where's the battery? I'm guessing it's in electricity. Yeah. Let's put an energy battery in there. Can absorb electricity from its power zone or return the stored power to the grid. And we've got a reward for this. I've been authorized to provide your colony with a small reward. Choose wisely. Mm, I have a hundred percent employment already. I kind of could use the two immigrants, but then again, I can also bu still build automated stuff. No one has to work in that battery. Yeah, we're gonna go for the nanites. Mm, maybe build the storage facility right here. Although no one has to work in that, so since no one has to go in there, we might actually stick that to the back of one of these buildings. Something like this. But we don't have to have access. And then I want to build a defense tower. And they seem to be quite expensive. Okay, we're going to gain some broccoli from that. Place an immigration center to allow some of the colonists in the orbiting colony ship to migrate to your colony. Yeah, that is definitely what we need. Um, sound effects still seem a little bit loud, so I'm actually going to turn these down 
a little bit. Just like that. So that it's that it's nice and quiet. Um, okay, so we're going to need an immigration center over here. 25 nanites to build. I only have 27. Requires 8 power and 4 workers, but I guess we need that. And I think that thing should be nice and central. So yeah, why not put that down here? Or maybe even over here? We would be able to um, bring a tunnel on the side of it. Nah, why not? Let's put it over here. We already got plenty of tunnel space in the area. How's the battery going now? Um, 14 units stored. I won't be able to build one of the lightning towers now. But I guess that's fair. We just gotta wait until we get more nanite produced. How is the nanite production? Synthesizing nanite. Yeah, it's working. How much copper do we have left? 767. I wonder what the conversion rate is. How much are we using for that? Is there something that tells me how that works? No. Recycling will recover seven nanites. Okay. Hmm. Shame. I will already get ten nanites again. Let me have a look at the defense stuff. We need 15 to build it. And it does require only one tower. I wonder what the radius of that is. Because it actually has to be quite big to really make sense. Oh yeah, those, those lightning strikes are definitely unnerving. I would like to have something that can stop that from happening. Let's go up to speed 4 until the um, immigration center is built. Okay, now, how's the range? Yeah, that is sufficient, I think. That doesn't need any, any workers in there, so I think we'll just pop it down over here. That looks fine. Just make sure that we don't get any problems with those lightnings. Okay, objective completed. Gain two nanites and some broccoli. Um, are people eating the broccoli? Yeah, they're eating the broccoli. So that's good. Got some soda. A sugary high calorie drink. Very unhealthy. <laughs> Why are we eating that still in the future? We'd like you to expand your colony's population. Reach population 50. You're going to give me three nanites for reaching a crazy amount of colonists. I mean, okay. And you increase the amount of residential space in your colony. Okay. Right. Okay. Build a habitat. That should be easy enough. Okay. Even a tier one habitat is going to need 32 nanites to build so we're gonna we're gonna have to speed the whole thing up quite a bit we have a lot of power though actually yeah we could gain more power by setting more sending more people into the geothermal generator apparently we lost one person construction drone hub yeah just want to make sure that these don't need any workers yeah they don't automated structure so that's nice Storing some power though, so if we have a shortage, um, things should be fine. The zone consumes 88 power, 108 available. Um, oh yeah, because it's spring now, so our power generation is not quite as bad as it used to be. But yeah, I'm actually happy that I built the geothermal generator now that I come to think of it. Because that really helped. Um, with 12 nanites, come on, give me a little bit more. Oh, and we have an immigration vessel docked. Picked up three aspiring immigrants to our colony. Um, dropship in orbit, three colonists per trip. Yeah, that's good. Um, I think we are nowhere near our housing capacity, right? Yeah, 50% housing is filled, so we're definitely going to be able to um, put a lot more people into the colony. We're slowly gaining food. I don't think that food production that we currently have is quite enough. To really sustain the colony so i think before i built the habitat although how many people are working in there only three i could still send two more in 50 percent productivity yeah actually i should not have built the thing right on the tile with the highest productivity 60 60 60 yeah i gotta keep that in mind to actually put these in areas where there is 
a lot of product productivity around for it. Mm, we might definitely want to go for some other food then. How's barley looking? And broccoli. Yeah, there aren't great spots for broccoli. Melons? Oh yeah, melons could definitely be a thing. Quinoa? Nah. Rice would probably work in this area over here. Okay, then we've got 17 nanites. Oh yeah, and there's a there's a ship landing in our on our immigration pad, bringing new people into the colony. We still got the first 16. Come on, come my pretties, join the colony. I promise to not kill you, not to kill you, or at least I try. Um, right, so let's put down a. Oh no, we need 32 nanites to to build that thing. We're still only at 50% of our housing capacity. I think we're actually going to wait with the habitat and put another farm down. Mm, or I could just upgrade that one to a level 2 farm. Cost 4 nanites. We're going to gain one additional farmland tile. Mm, we don't even have the, the highest amount of people in there. But I think we're actually going to send more people in there. So I made that the high priority people from somewhere else and we have now 19 we had 59% housing filled 43% of our jobs are filled we really need a lot more people I don't think mm, five colonies per trip I think these are the two buildings that we really need filled so that more people arrive Otherwise, um, I can't really see us reaching the whole thing. Yeah, we've got 22 nanites now, only 10 more, and we'll be able to put down a habitat. But what I really want is a farm. Maybe even a greenhouse so that we can produce over the winter. They're much more expensive, 22 nanites, but I'm expecting this to be worth it. Um, some melon production, maybe? 90% productivity in this area. Yeah, this looks like a great spot for melons. Maybe. 90, 80, yeah. Let's go for a melon greenhouse. Up to 7.2 melons per hour. Let's do that. People want melons. And uh, yeah, with that, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, um, then please leave a like. Especially helpful in the first episode of a new series. Shows that people want to see more of it. And it helps the series to um, show up in search results. And uh, be enjoyed by more people um, if you didn't enjoy it then uh, please let me know in the comments why so that i can improve and if you want to see more of the series in the future please consider subscribing to the channel i do hope that you join me next time for more avon colony um let's play gameplay thanks bye bye